Sherman Digamig 209 Prohit 4R is a modern 200A MIG MAG welding machine with the additional possibility of TIG lift and MMA welding. The housing is one of the most interesting propositions on the market. Compact and compact design ensures stability and durability of operation in all conditions. The device has a solid transport handle and several interesting solutions. First of all, this model, which is rare in 200A devices, is equipped with a solid and fully aluminum four-roll wire feeder. It can easily handle handles three, four, and even five meters long. Another thing appreciated by users is the ability to illuminate the feeder chamber with an LED lamp, thus illuminating the feeder's working zone. There is additional space in the feeder chamber in the form of a hook for hanging or storing additional feeder rolls. Additionally, the welder has a gas quick connector, which allows quick and trouble-free connection of the shielding gas hose. The device is also equipped with a fan stop function, which turns off the fan after a period of inactivity, saving energy and reducing noise in the workplace. The control panel is divided into quickly accessible selection sections. We can select the welding method, the type of welded material, the welding mode, determine the wire motor needed for synergic settings, and adjust the spot welding function, inductance, and, for the MMA method, the hot start and arc force functions. There is also a button on the panel that quickly feeds the wire from the feeder chamber. The MIG MAG device can operate in synergic and manual mode. In manual mode, we determine the wire speed in meters per minute and, after pressing the knob, we set the welding arc voltage. We can also adjust the inductance in the positive and negative range. By selecting the synergic mode and turning the knob, the device adjusts the welding parameters, the value of the welding current and the arc voltage. By pressing the knob, we can introduce voltage correction within the range of plus and minus 20% of the output parameters. For proper operation in the synergic mode, we must additionally select and specify the welded material and determine the wire diameter used for a given material and gas shield. We use pure argon as a shielding gas for aluminum. The MIG welding machine can operate in two-stroke, four-stroke, and spot modes. In two-stroke mode, the welder keeps the button pressed in the handle of the weld throughout the entire length of the weld. The 4T mode is helpful and convenient when making long welds. The button can be released during welding. Only when welding is finished do we press it again. Spot mode allows you to set the welding length time. This way, we obtain repeatable creases, ideal for joining welded structures. Let's return for a moment to the inductance function, which can be adjusted in the MIG-MAG method. We will now make three welds using the same parameters, changing the inductance value to extreme settings. The first weld will be set to zero, the next minus 50, and the next plus 50. Inductance affects the dynamics of the welding arc, the depth and appearance of the weld, and directly translates into the amount of weld spatter. The lower the inductance, the more spatter, the less penetration, and the convex weld. The higher the inductance, the more spread the weld is, embedded in the material, and there are fewer weld spatters around the weld. The 209 Prohit 4R device is very good at welding steel and aluminum alloys. Welding aluminum requires preparing the device specifically for this material. To start welding aluminum correctly and without any problems, we will have to replace several pieces of equipment. First, we loosen the nut and remove the metal tube from the Euro socket. We put rollers intended for aluminum wires into the feeder, i.e. with a U-shaped groove, according to the wire diameter. We dismantle the so-called A mouthpiece with a steel insert to one with a Teflon insert. We remove the steel insert from the handle and replace it with a Teflon insert of the appropriate wire diameter. We put the Teflon armor through the Euro socket 
and shorten it right next to the guide roller in the feeder. We pull the wire and insert it into the holder. Loosen the screws holding the wire in the feeder to 2 or 2.5. Using the quick wire feed button, we guide the wire out of the burner. Screw the contact tip marked with the letter A, i.e. intended for aluminum, into the burner. When welding aluminum, we use pure argon shielding gas. Now we can start setting up and configuring the welding machine. It should also be remembered that aluminum should be cleaned with acetone before welding. The welder is capable of welding using the TIG method with lift ignition, i.e. by rubbing. For this method, use a handle with a valve in the handle and use shielding gas. TIG lift welding is a good alternative for those who want to learn TIG welding or use this method occasionally. The welder can also be used to easily weld with a coated electrode, i.e. the MMA method, one of the most popular welding methods. In this method, we can additionally adjust arc force and hot start and enable and disable the power DR function. The welder is equipped with a MIG mag handle, mass and electrode cable, gas hose and user manual. Optionally, we can also work with a spool gun holder. Welcome to our online store, dedicated not only to welders. We offer a wide selection of professional welding equipment, including welding machines, torches, electrodes, and welding accessories.